Dead by Daylight has a lot of killers, and for a long time these killers were confined to somewhat human proportions. My nerd brain wanted something else to come to the game, something that certainly wouldn't work. But then came the alien. Its design went entirely against the strictly humanoid designs of previous chapters, and suddenly my idea seemed a lot more plausible, and dare I say, very possible. Oh yeah, and then they released Chucky, so apparently anything goes at this point. I've always loved stealth killers in DVD, both as killer and survivor, as I regularly play as both. So my goal was to design a killer with enough power to make the survivors afraid of it and provide enjoyment for the killer, as well as adding sufficient counterplay and interaction for the survivors. The killer I've added to DVD is the Raptor. It's a Deinonychus with a simple, fun power and a cool backstory. We'll go over the power and killer perks first, then the lore, and then a final cutscene story to paint a complete picture of this thing. So, without further ado, let's unveil the raptor's power, Lethal Pounce. The raptor has a simple crouch ability similar to Pig and Ghostface, which removes its tear radius and red stain at the cost of a lower movement speed. Wait 2 seconds while crouching to activate Pounce which will create a short hissing noise and send you up and onto a target location, injuring survivors if hit. Gain a stack for each successful pounce. If missed, you are stunned for 2 seconds, in which time a survivor can kick you to stun you for another 2 seconds and remove a stack of your power. 3 stacks equals 25% faster pounce. 5 stacks equals deep wound pounce and 7 stacks means an instant down. The raptor has normal movement speed and a small tear radius. Now onto the perks. First we have Hunter's Instinct. After injuring a survivor, decrease the movement speed of all healthy survivors by 5% within a 10 meter radius of the injured one. Effect persists until the survivor is healed. Hex, Painful Wounds. Exhaust survivors when hit. It's quite simple and powerful, but hexes are destroyed pretty quickly when they are this strong. Bloodthirsty. When a survivor is downed, see the auras of all survivors within a 20 meter radius around them for 5 seconds. Finally, we have the lore. 66 million years ago, an ancient bacteria infected an unsuspecting raptor. It twisted its mind and body into nothing but a servant of the infection. It slaughtered its entire pack, crazed and driven to madness as it decayed, alive. The asteroid was about to strike with cosmic wrath, but a primordial being recognized this bloodthirsty potential and offered the creature with a path to salvation, or so it thought. It took the bait. It is now a servant to an entirely different infection, the entity. Imagine you are working on a generator. The fog meanders around trees and through the tall grass. The darkness is only broken by the piercing glare of the moon. Fellow survivors are assisting you with the generator in hopes of repairing it before you are found by one of the entity's many puppets. You look around, expecting Michael Myers, a demogorgon, or maybe a trapper. God, you always hope it's a trapper. Your teammate hears a sound in a nearby bush and goes to investigate, but after a blood-curdling scream and an animalistic hiss, your teammate is no more. This is not something you're familiar with. This is new. Another teammate runs towards the screams of your lost companion, but it is hopeless. A terrible beast made of feathers and scales pounces onto your friend. It is over as quickly as it started, and the creature's eyes are now locked onto you. Damn it. Tell yourself. I should have brought dead hard. I hope you guys like the design for this killer. Let me know if you would enjoy playing as or against it. And as always, have a wonderful day bro.